welcome back. Hope you got your paper. Hope you did some of the fun stuff that we did with ours. Remember my wall of art over here. I was thinking I could do different things too because we can make anything out of art. We can ask for those recycles. That's what my daughter always does is she's always asking for Kleenex boxes or string or anything that I'm not using anymore. And she tries to make something from that. So she recycles it and makes it art. So on these few days, that's something you could be doing too, but always remember to ask your parents before you take those things. Make sure they're not using them anymore. Today, we're gonna read a story called The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. I hope that you can see the dot as a story that you can connect to with something we've just done. I really like this story because it has a lot of messages. One of the things that we call a message is the theme. A lot of the times when we read fictional stories, this is gonna be a fictional story, which it actually is gonna be a realistic fictional story. We can find lessons in it that the author wants us to learn that doesn't just apply to this book, but applies to our life. And in this one, I hope you're going to find a theme or a message the author wanted to let you know. So we're gonna read about the dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Hey, there's glued to your chair. Her paper was empty. So even though everybody else left, she's still glued to her chair. Uh-oh, her paper is empty. How do you think she's feeling? I can kind of see it on her face. It doesn't look good. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, Vashti said. I just can't draw. See when she meant by a polar bear in a snowstorm? A polar bear's white, snowstorm's white, and the paper's white. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and she gave the paper a good strong jab. There. She gave it a good strong jab because her teacher said just make a mark. So she did. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it very carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and she quietly said, now sign it. All I did was make a mark. Hmm, I'll sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was a little dot. She had drawn her dot and it was framed in swirly gold, beautiful. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and she set to work. Why was it never used? Well, because she didn't think she could do it. So it was brand new. She decided she was gonna prove to everyone she could do better than that. Vashti painted and painted. She made a yellow dot. She made a green dot. She made a red dot. And she made my favorite, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red. She discovered she could then make a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Now, Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. 
See how she made that? She painted around the paper to leave this dot that's plain in the middle. Now I'd say that's pretty creative. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. There it is, quite a splash. People enjoyed it. It was exciting. They loved looking at all of her dots. It's pretty cool to have an art show. Now Vashti noticed this little boy. He was gazing up at her. He said, you're a really great artist, you know that? Oh, I wish I could draw like you, he said. Well, of course, Vashti said, I bet you can. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Who does this sound like? Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper and she said, show me. And the boy's pencil shook as he tried to draw that straight line. And Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, can any of you predict what she might say? Thinking back to what the teacher said when she drew her jab dot. Sign it. I love that book. I think it has such a good message. What are some thoughts on the message right now? If you were the author and you were writing this story, what were you trying to teach the kids that were reading it? Dots are pretty? Eh, they are. She made a lot of dots that were really cool. She was in an art show. That's just for the story though. A theme can go across many things, your life, other stories. One of the things that I think that Vashti's teacher wanted to teach her was, everybody can be good at something. And even when you don't think you are, if you keep trying, you will be. So what do you think is gonna happen to that boy? What do you think he's gonna do with his scribbly line? What did Vashti do once she made one dot? She said, I can do better. So another theme might be practice makes perfection. I don't know. That's the good thing about themes. Everybody can take something different out of the same story. So back to my stirring stick. Did you make a connection? Does any of this remind you of our story? We can take anything in our house and make art out of it. And I hope this week, as you're home with your family, that you might find something that you, will give you inspiration to make art too. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.